The pattern has changed a little bit. We're into a much wetter one. There's going to be multiple snow systems and of course some rain, but it's fairly wet for the next week across portions of the east and really a decent amount of the country compared to average here in your snowplow news and Norcast weather video. So that is something to look forward to. If you take it out through January 18th, snow depth wise, you got more of the country with certainly a lot of snow in the high terrain, not a ton of snow. This isn't anything crazy at all for January standards, but it's snowier than what we have seen for sure, just being honest. Let's throw it back. 2023 temperatures compared to average was a very warm one. Much of the country above average, some spots well above, most of all of Canada way, way, way above average. The cool? Okay, a little bit below average across portions of the West, nothing crazy. We're getting into a more active pattern. So watch these swirls aloft in the atmosphere. These are like spins, literally. Vorticity is what it's called. That moves through. This is not gonna be a huge deal with this East Coast snowstorm. If this was a normal pattern and we were seeing multiple snowstorms by now, this would be like, whatever. Um, but since we've been so snow free relative to average in spots over the last couple of years, anything is a little bit notable. I think this next storm here early next week is going to be a bigger one, more loaded, more energy. Look at that. That swirls through nicely. And then we got another one to watch later next week back behind that. So watch this low. It'll come on out here. It'll dip on down as we go in towards the middle portion of the country. Well, we see a little sunshine, hopefully today into tomorrow with that high pressure and control. This will shoot out to the Northeast. It's just gonna be a little bit of snow across portions of the Great Lakes. Watch for this to start taking hold. So south of the Ohio Valley here, Appalachians, Pennsylvania, and then move up into the Northeast. That'll be an organized low. And it's again, not a major event. There'll be some snow back behind it into the end of the weekend as well. That'll slide off towards the east. Not much rest for the weary because our next storm's coming. And this could, could be a big snowmaker into the middle portion of the country, somewhere into the Great Lakes. We'll see as it digs on down. That's a lot of moisture. This could be severe weather on the south side. Should be a decent amount of flooding rain. And I do think somebody sees a pretty big snowstorm from this. Models have been fantastically in agreement. This would be a big deal here. Michigan into Ontario, maybe Buffalo, Montreal, into possibly New England. Yes, East Coasters, you're on the warm side of this. And then maybe even another system back behind that for later next week. So it's a much more active pattern. We have legitimate snowstorms to watch for sure. But this first one here is not really going to be a huge deal. We're talking about maybe a 5, 10 inch or so corridor. Then as we go into the middle portion of the country with our next storm that we're going to see, there will likely be a more significant area of snowfall. We'll see if it's all the way back here in towards like Wichita, St. Louis, Kansas City area. But there could be several inches where this band does set up and that would move likely into Michigan. Then in the high terrain, there's certainly going to be some pretty decent amounts of snowfall accumulating. Look at that Sierra Nevada mountains, how about 50 inches? But uh, yeah, a couple feet in the high terrain, at least several inches. So it will be more snowy, more noticeable as you look across the map as a whole, accumulated snowfall over the course of the next week. Uh, we'll really have to watch this one. Again, depending on where it sets up and what comes together, it could be a pretty big storm. There's going to be more batches of cold air, more frequent cold air, especially into the west and even in towards portions of the deep south, but not so much with the southeast ridge. That's the southeast ridge there across portions of the east. I think above average temperatures continue to linger but it will be closer to average once you get out into the Great Lakes, Ohio Valley. And yes, there will be some pretty cold air at times in towards like Denver, Albuquerque, Vegas. So something to keep an eye on, but notice these are not gonna be super cold temperatures as we take you through the weekend. 30s, lows in the 20s. Where's the below zero temperatures in the Dakotas, in Minnesota? Not really. But it's chilly into the south as we take you in towards next Tuesday and next Wednesday. And then there's your core of some pretty cold air there. There's some pretty chilly temperatures at times that come in towards uh, southern Canada. But again, nothing crazy temperature-wise coming up. This is your NORCAST weather update.